Oh. Is it music? There we go. Here we go. Let's yeah, go. Game let's on. Go. Okay. Game on. I like the energy, Brahmi. Let's go. I like it's it a on. lot. You want to introduce us? Hey, what? Um, five, four, three, two, one. I'm not editing that out. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Here we are oh. on uh, Montecito Drive Along with Joe Parker from Berkshire Hathaway and Brahmi Croc from Rate Mortgage. Lovely day here. Gray skies. Yeah. Again. Looks like, I feel like we're definitely falling right into fall. Yes. Since Sunday was the kickoff day. Our, for Santa Barbara standards, fall should be nice. We're actually it, falling back into mm, summer? Into spring, summer. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was a gray one. We had a little... We had some nice weather there. August and... Um, August was nice. Yeah. Yep. Had some good ones. But... And, uh, yeah, but here we go. Here, here we, we go. go. Montecito, everybody. This is a drive-along tour. If it's your first time on the video here, if you just stumbled across us, we're a couple of real estate professionals who like to take people along caravan tour where each week there's open houses of the inventory available for sale that we go out and look at so we could share it with our buyers. And in doing so, we're also making these videos. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, following along please subscribe to the channel cause subscribe because we're going for a hundred thousand hundred thousand subs we need yeah we need hundred thousand we just flipped three thousand so so well so we, need we got 97, a little seven thousand to go it's only ninety seven thousand probably more. another week yeah so share it with your friends maybe <laughs> help us meet, meet our goal but oh. uh in all seriousness this is a great way to get to know these communities not only Montecito, which we're in today, but we also tour around Summerlin, Carpinteria, Santa Barbara proper, all kinds of neighborhoods. The channel here is loaded with videos about different neighborhoods in Santa Galita. Barbara. Galita is another community to the north of us. That is really, really nice. It's called, it's called the good land because living in Galita is sweet. Yes, it is. All right. Well, hey, let's talk about the first one we're going to here. Yeah, we're going. This is big. a big one. We're going for we're going for a big one. Big, big. We're hoping uh, we get the uh, green light to video because sometimes in these uh, very high priced, um, very nice houses, people don't always want us videoing. You could call it an estate or a mansion at yep. this time. Right here. So they want to sort of control their narrative, I think is what it is, right? Mm -hmm. Like in the sense of when they, you know, all these properties you'll see online. Right. But if they do the video, they're make, you know, they're really they don't show anything that the client doesn't want to be seen kind of situation. Yes. Whereas if we do the video, they don't, can, they're not able to control exactly what gets out there. So that's more or less, don't you think is that why they, I think that's, that's pretty, that much, pretty much it. it. Um, I think sometimes it's also just the individual choice of the agent who at whatever point decides that they will say yes or no to the question. Do you mind if I film a walkthrough? Sometimes they just say no. But isn't it sort of based on what the, they know their client wants or how they... The yes, other... sometimes. And the other times it's, I don't want you marketing my listing. I don't want you promoting it as if... Or they don't like you. I'm not saying that. No, I'm not saying they don't <laughs> like me. I'm just saying they may feel like, hey, I don't want you representing my property. I want to represent my Fair property. Fair enough. Yeah, I well, get that. Yeah, just, like... Yeah, that's... I've done all the work. I want to get all that. I'm, like, yeah, I'm going to... I don't sure. want you out Fair there enough. doing it. Yeah. Um, so they don't like you. That's what I'm hearing. I mean. Okay, be. well, let's talk about it this first one. Be. It is uh, 880 Picasso Lane. It is a five bedroom, eight bath. I mean, that's nice. Eight bathrooms. Eight bathrooms. That's sweet. Like, never a problem. Unless you're the housekeeper. Yeah, well, if you got to clean them, that is a lot. Um, finest turnkey estate on the market today. Both oh. property gates along Picasso will be open. So it has, it sounds like it has a looping driveway. Okay. Which is exciting. Um, Finest prop. That's a big claim in this area of the world. We're about yeah. to try to get you people into East what's Mountain known drive. as the finest property in one of the finest markets in America. Well, I'm excited. Well, we're not going to a ton of information right here on it, but right, right. I'm assuming this is a very, it's got to be a large it is. It's a, a large property. Have you been to it before? I have not, but I did do some studying um, before oh, this. We're looking at a little over three acres. Okay, I figured we must have some acreage. House, I think, is like 8,000 square feet. I think there's a guest yeah. house, a pool, a tennis court. Um, and we are going to have awesome. 
major views if the views weren't obstructed with some of this marine layer and haze. It's just sort of high though. I mean, it just won't be that stunning, sunny view, you know? We yeah. should be able to see stuff. Yeah, we should be able to see out there a bit. But um, that's exciting. I mean, this is this is one of the it streets of Montecito, would you not Adam say? Adam Levine lives on this street. Um, I'm sure I'm, Ellen has had a house on this street before. Yeah, she's buying and flipping properties left and right up here in Montecito, isn't she, in Summerlin? Yeah, she's uh, just got done, I think, with something on Padaro and is uh, yeah. taking it back into the foothills of Montecito. Really? Yeah, doing another one. Wow. It's awesome. This is where we are right now, foothills of Montecito. This is a cool, cool road, and we've, we've been on this road before in our videos. It ends on Mountain Drive, pretty much does. Yeah, it does. Um, and Mountain Drive pretty much goes across the foothills all the way from Montecito through Santa Barbara, turns into 192, or it is the 192. Wait, no, I'm saying that wrong. That's my bad. <laughs> my bad. But a lot of great trails right here. Oh, a lot of Lux looks like we're not the only ones who thought this was a good one to go to first. Is it street parking? Right there. I know, but I'm freaking like I want to drive in. Why don't you? Well, because it's too crowded maybe. That could be the reason, but I would like to... It said both gates are going to be open. Maybe okay. there's a gate up higher? Let's just... You know, I want to give a little bit of a of an experience a of driving looksy. into this bad boy. You know, because if you're going to be dropping... Oh, you just loop around 36 and go. million on this bad boy. You want to know it's going to be busy. What it's, it's like busy. to drive through the opening of the gate. And this is what we're going to do. I like it. I'm just going to take this spot right here underneath the oaks. All right. Little trails I'm seeing already. It's right right here. Check it. All right, everybody, 880 Picacho, built in 2014. We got a nice little roundabout driveway here, classic water feature. All right, here's the entry coming in the front door. You've got this kind of plaza here that greets you, bringing in the view right across to this deck that you've got ocean views, big flat space out here to utilize. Lots of hardscape. Hey, An amazing to... chandelier right here, too. That's beautiful. Pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, I will. I'm going to go out there after I get some more of this inside because I'll end up missing a lot of this house if I don't capture these rooms. This is a great uh, billiard room right here. Oh. What? Could be like a little lounge study area, multiple uses, I'm sure. What do we have here? I feel like I just, I'm in like a Vegas. Oh my God, the wine cellar. In, what if it broke right when we're on it? That would be something. <laughs> oh that my is God. so cool. You guys want to stand on the wine cellar? Yeah. <laughs> That's the oh first. My God. Yeah, you like, I like it, Scott. Yeah. Team Graybeard. It is nice to not have to shave every day. All right, well, let's get back to this. Is there anything to get away from it completely? Right. <laughs> All right, back to the video, everyone. We got a nice living room here. I love these exposed beams up here. They have some really nice distress to them, give you bring a, a lot of old world charm. Taking this space here. Oh, you don't, don't stop for him. And then, Here's this beautiful kitchen, really thick countertops. And this view, just amazing. Not doing the blueness today. You usually get some blue ocean and blue sky. and But today, it's going to be all pretty much gray, but still up here, spectacular. All right, dual islands. Oh, 
powder room here. Got the butler pantry here. More sinks, more dishwashing, more refrigerator. All the appliances in the kitchen pretty much found in this butler's pantry. Beautiful smooth plaster walls. Love that. All right, let's go. I wanted to go upstairs, but let's go check out downstairs first. Okay, here we found some garages. Looks like laundry room, kind of utility room here. like we've got ourselves probably the theater here that is cool I love the lighting some nice effects on the walls you could hear the sound change as you get in here so they've got some sound insulation acoustic wall paneling and then this is a really awesome little bank of bunk beds to chill out in there get the kids have their slumber parties and another here we go, a little guest suite. This is the first of the suites we've seen. I think the rest are gonna be upstairs. But this downstairs has got nice built-ins. And here is that wine cellar. Oh my God. Wow. Refrigerated, really cold, amazing. Look at these tiles. I think they're four by four. That is the biggest tile I've ever seen. All right, let's go back up now. Looks like a laundry chute there, that's cool. All right, now we're gonna go upstairs. I love the curve of this staircase here. Beautiful ironwork on the railing. So custom, so tight. Everything fits perfectly. All right, this could be our primary. I would say it probably is because it has you looking towards where the sunrise would be in the morning. And that's probably where I would put my bed if I was building a custom house. Beautiful views of Montecito Valley, the ocean, the islands. We're really high up here. Beautiful walk-in closet. Another walk-in closet there. And then how about this primary bathroom? Some crazy tile as well, look at that. Mosaic little kind of uh, scallop shape. Great soaking tub there. Water closet. marble enclosed shower party shower multiple heads all right now the other side of the upstairs you've got this little sleeping quarters with a bathroom okay that's a modest little bedroom but amazing little bathroom it comes with There's another bedroom over here with a walk-in closet, lots of built-ins. It's kind of a cool chandelier. Another killer view. Don't even have to lift your head off the pillow to 
see the ocean view on that one. And then some more of that fun color here. All right, what else we got up here? So another suite. Okay, let's check out the bathroom. It's kind of got a more masculine vibe. Cool shower, I like the two-tone tile work there. Nice walk-in. Another great view from the bed on this one. And look at those grounds. We gotta go find Brahmi down there. Another laundry room up here. And then there's another staircase here on this side. Goes back down the house to the main level. Let's go outside and see what kind of features this three acres has. Getting down now to the guest house, pool cabana area. Back up a little bit. Here's that garage. Over there. Got the pool covered there with this diving board. There's a nice little pool cabana area here. Nice bathroom. This cabana's got a nice bedroom, big tall ceilings. And then more garage spaces over here. So it looks like the second driveway may pull you up to these. Looks like we got some more apartments up here. How are you? All right, here's the upstairs. This has got like office vibes up here, kind of workspace, but it could be another living space. And we've got, it uh, looks like maybe some workout areas over here. Yeah. Another bathroom. Yeah, here we go. Got the exercise zone up here above the garage. And then this balcony looks down to the basketball court down there. The pool looks like a bocce court. Okay, beautiful roses. I think we are seeing just about all of it here. I wanted to come around here because you have multiple entrances, so that's how you get to these lower garage areas. We've got some more big flat yard space down here where the bocce is and some kind of construction going on. You know, Montecito's got lots of construction. Just at the base of the mountains, look at that. Just a couple of properties higher than us, but almost at the top. And then it looks like I'm gonna go check out this other little structure here to show you guys because there's some kind of little redwood hut over here. But look back at what we just toured. Amazing. All right. It's a kid's play zone. So they got an ultimate little cabin and play structure. A little bit of a swing there. 
and there's where we just traversed. Okay, everybody, let's go see another one. This was a treat. Look at these stone blocks for stairs. Impressive. Beautiful guardians. Oh, wait, I'm not going to sign off just yet because it looks like we might have some raised beds here, some really massive sandstone block raised beds if you want to get your farming on. Oh, some apples on the vine already. It's, it's confused. Are we on? Yes, I understand. It's not Joe that's confused driving. I relate although, to being although confused. Although that's probably your first directions. feel. I can relate. His little apparatus is uh, his in car nav navigation was glitching. <laughs> not Joe this time. Not Joe glitching, but so just super give it stoked a we got the video. And I'll glitch. Yes. Super stoked. Super stoked we got the video. And super cool property. I hope I got it all. Yeah, very super memorable. Super cool house. Those plastered walls were so pristine and perfect. I love how like that's the same smooth plaster color. The wall ceiling, all of it was the same. It was pretty nice. Yeah, there was a lot to like in that house. And as far as a, what, 30, 36 and a half million dollar house. Um, Makes sense to me. It makes sense. Like I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that is that's yeah. a thirty-six million dollar house. That is. And um, yeah, I mean, a plus so location. Great location. The views were really really cool. And uh, too bad it wasn't a bluebird day with those. Oh, with the blue been ocean islands. And, yeah, islands and sky. More of a southern view. You're sort of looking more. Uh -huh. Southerly with it. Inter interesting perspective. Hold on, hold on. Coming up here on the right, this is a trailhead right here. This is oh, yeah. enemy There we go, everybody. This is how you get into the, the back country or front country of Montecito. Cool trail. This is, this is where some of the action breaks off. There's a lot of neighbors that get a little upset about the community. They're this, right? Well, they don't love this. Yeah, they don't want the community parking right here. So, they, Well, they don't want them parking on the road because that's what people would do. Okay. So they created this to so get that you can pull off at least I thought they did. Oh, those cars those, are just... It's hard to say. They're parking right in front of a tow truck sign. So. And then this is always interesting. This is private parking. Like That can't be. But I guess it, it is. is. It is. Looks like it is. Looks like they're claiming it is. Yeah. But that house oh, was wait. really, really cool. We've seen this We've one. We've already done this house. Yeah. We're, we did this we one with Josiah. Yeah. Okay. We're going to move on to the next one then. Okay. Let's... Well, why don't you park right here? <laughs> Gonna, they would love it. I'm going to go on the fly. I mean, 9.37. You would love it. They would like to see me keep you anxious. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, what? Having trouble multitasking, bro? No, not at all. You're, what's the, <laughs> your Tesla is glitching, dude. It is. I think it's having trouble. I don't think it has signal. Well, the satellites might be blocked from this fog. I thought Elon had satellites everywhere. True. Should we call him? What is going on here? It's all right. <laughs> but that property was really, back. really cool. I think the, if, if I was going to critique one thing on that property, mm -hmm. it was, it was the, the pool and the, like the pool house sort of setup. I didn't love. Okay. The pool was sort of away from the main house. You do have that guest house, but it was sort of strange that most of the pool was, it had like that Hidden. building had a wall. Yeah. So like instead of a lot of times, I love those pool houses that have like great openings so that you have like in and out space. Mm -hmm. You know, you have your kitchen, you have like your, you know, maybe a pool table, whatever you have. It's a great spot that you're using in and out. Mm -hmm. You know, definitely a big TV so you can watch sports and you're hanging by the pool. It didn't have that. So, because on the other side of that wall is a garage, mm -hmm. I found out. Yeah. So. That's um, a good point. I um, I do really like when they incorporate the pool into the view of the property. Like when you're looking across your land to your view and you can see your pool in the foreground is, I think, kind of nice. And I do love when they have the cabana that opens up with that indoor-outdoor living. Yeah, it's really cool. It's a good, it's a good effect. And. Do you want to go to Arcadia? Arcadia? Yeah, let's do that one. 
Yep, that's the way you're gonna to wanna to go. There it is. Oh, I like those old Land 14 Porsches. But everything else on that place, I huge lawns. And they had a bocce ball court down there, yeah. had a half a basketball court. Did you make it to the little kids? Uh, I went down there. Yeah. Yeah. That and way. they right in the middle of that lawn, it, it was hedged around is um, a well, and it was like a it was a big well hmm. like that. Is that a secondary had, water source? Did she say or it is? So that's what they use to irrigate all their landscaping, Ooh, that's, which is clutch because I bonus. everything you're seeing like three acres and it was well landscaped. Yeah, three thousand dollar a month water that, bill. Yeah, seeing that. Um, you know, at times we have some water shortages here. Yes. Um, that's that's pretty clutch. I'd be curious to see how that water is. I would think it was probably really quite mineralized. Good. Maybe a bit hard. I don't know. Yeah. Um, we've got well water over at where I live for the irrigation, and um, it's very hard. It has a lot of iron in it. So if it touches your walls, yeah, it will leave that. Uh, or rust if it color dries on. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Kind of rusty yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Gotcha. Okay. We... Oh, well, hey, let me let me uh, tell us tell us everyone uh, tell everyone about this new property we're going to. Our it is listed for seven point two five million. So seven and a quarter, three bedroom, three and a half bath. It is first open. Come preview this traditional Montecito home where luxury and charm await. Um, now, I'm going to make a guess. We're not having gone in there. Yeah. Nothing's been done to this property. Okay. What makes you guess that? Um, and if I'm, if I'm, I'm reading into the description in the sense, well, first open, sure. Um, traditional Montecito home mm. where luxury and charm await. Mm. Meaning. Traditional luxury. It's, well, it's traditional meaning it is in its original uh -huh. form yep and it's waiting for you to bring I'm your luxury you should your luxury and your charm yes but i could be wrong maybe i'm totally misreading this but i think that's a good read i like the way you picked up on that i think you're right this is a cool little road i don't yeah. think i've ever been on this road arkady road here this is a little private road under the oaks i've been on the top of it yeah it comes out over there um What's the name of that street right over by the Mon fire station? Monty or no, not right right now. But this is pretty cool to have your own little private lane. Mm -hmm. I like how they have the speed bumps on it. Yeah, that's nice. So people keep don't get too fast. Keep it chill. Yeah. Yes. Keep it on easy for all the teenage new drivers that get a BMW. They gotta slow it down. They're leaving the house. BMW. Probably a Tesla. <laughs> Tesla. Come on. Okay. Oh, here we go. Is this it? Is it open right now? 937 right, right there. I was going to go to 939, but let's go to 937. Oh, I definitely think you drive in. Let's take a, take a look. I'm, I'm ready to roll the dice, even though that person went right in front of us. Well, what I'm guessing, what's to the left right here? What if you take this quick turn and block all of them in? Ooh, that's a good call. <laughs> or go park right in front of that Tesla. Like, angle straight into the driveway. I into the garage. Like, straight in? Yeah. Why not, huh? All right, everybody. This is what Brahmi looks like in this driveway. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. All right, we do have an original home here, just like Brahmi suspected. But luxury and charm of yesteryear await our arrival. And we were admiring this cute little landscaped island to create the driveway motor court kind of roundabout scene here. Of course, we've got a beautiful olive and then they tucked in a ficus. What are you doing here, ficus? You should be an olive. Hmm. That old chandelier. Yeah, this is cool. Formal living room. It's got a really good vibe. Real clean. 
I like how they have the uh, soft color on the wall with a nice sharp glossy white trim. It's very classic on the like molding. The sconces. Mm. Those are powerful. Chandelier sconces, I guess. Yeah. This is what we were noticing. Really cool feature there. All right, we got a nice little terrace out here. Terrace looking out to those oaks, similar to what we drove under in the private lane. Here's or that motor court there. Okay. Yeah, it's like a forest. All right, back in. Let's go back to the front entrance here. A couple closets, powder room, plus shower. Yeah. Big picture window. Oh yeah, pool under the oaks. Keep that pool cleaner busy. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this, the, the little scooper. I like the built-ins too, that's cool. Those are nice. All right, found the dining room, formal dining room. I'm sure this room's seen some fun dinner parties in its day. More of these cool built-in window that. features here too. I like that. How they pop them out like that mm -hmm. gives it nice depth and interesting. Okay, a little barbecue out there. Yeah. The kitchen here. And it's probably just baking and not more than cheese. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah. Maybe so. Anyway, good to see you. you. What's up? This kitchen is cute. It's well appointed, although it is kind of a tucked away over in the corner of the house. So if you're busy over here, you might feel a little bit isolated, but some people like that. They just don't want to be bugged. They don't want the smell of the kitchen to go throughout the house. So if that's you, this has got it going for you, I think. Let's go up the steps. They've got this custom seagrass kind of carpeting. Okay, here's one of our suites, original bathroom. Nice ensuite bedroom, a little terrace up here. Bathroom. Hasn't really been touched, but it looks like it's in great shape. Dude, check out that office. Really cool. I oh, love that. Nice bedroom there. A little office here. Back to that bedroom I just filmed because this balcony was occupied, but I wanted to get out here and show it to you because it's a great feature to have off that bedroom. Experience this setting, the Arcady setting here. Okay. All right, I found the primary. You can see it's got a balcony, a good sized bedroom, fireplace. You walk by one walk in closet at the entry, plus another here, and then you've got a nice big primary bathroom, shower. And then this room's got this kind of catwalk balcony here. And it produces a nice little shot of the coast. Ah, it's too gray, but that's Carpinteria, Summerland area looking towards Ventura. And on a clear day, you'll get those points that shoot out. So that's kind of a fun perspective. And then you've got the pool down there. All 
All right, here's the yard. Going down, check out that pool. And it looks like there could be a little something off of this garage over here. Okay, yeah, a little ADU over here. It's a nice little rental, it smells fresh. Looks like it was just built. A little kitchen, gotta add the appliances. Looks like they're still working on it. And then you got a bedroom, bathroom over here. And then the garage. Okay. I think we have seen it, everyone. What do you think of this classic luxury? All right, on to the next. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Brahmi, you called it. Elegant. You called it, but. Luxurious, not updated, but totally livable. I. I was, I thought the house was in good condition for not being. Yes. The kitchen was updated. Yeah, the kitchen was updated. Um, I love that house. Yeah. I thought that house was awesome. I think that's, I think, I, you know, what, what was that price? Seven and a quarter. Nothing modern about the floor plan though, really. No, it's more of that old school compartment. A lot mm -hmm. of, lot of rooms, mm -hmm. not a lot of like open necessary space. open to it but you could make some changes maybe um i don't i've and a cool property nice pool if you love oaks my wife loves oaks uh a lot of them you're like in a grove here yes. of oak trees they're beautiful and there's a couple really mature trees there that were cool um See this quaint little entrance to this community? Yeah. You know, it's like Almost. a little gated private room. There is a zombie you apocalypse. And your you, neighbors have I mean, you can walk around the gate, but... Don't don't tell the zombies that. They won't figure that out. I don't They'll think see zombies are gate, super smart. Like, they just, they just sort of, like, go. And then if they get stuck, like, then they just pile up there. So you might end up with, like, a pile of zombies right there. Yeah. But, um, but I thought that cool... That, I thought that house was really cool. Stab them. And um, I like I like that one. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, I'm always a fan of those '50s bathrooms that never really change and are still in good shape. You know, the old tile and stuff. I kind of like mm -hmm. that. Um, they're always a different color. So you would leave those? Yeah, I don't mind them at all. I'd totally leave them. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Um, if that was uh, going for it, you know, if it matched the vibe of the home, which it does right now. Mm -hmm. Like you said, the only room that really looked updated was the kitchen. And the kitchen was really nice. Mm -hmm. I liked it. Yeah, it was just kind of tucked away, isolated. So if you want an isolated kitchen, that's the It'd one for you. It'd be interesting. I don't know if this would even be possible engineering-wise. I'm sure it would, depend, you know, with enough money. But next house, 1595 Miramar Lane. This is in the Hedgerow area of Montecito. It's three bedroom, two bath. It's listed for four million eight hundred fifty thousand. It's a new listing, beautifully remodeled home. And that's it. This, from the pictures, looks like a lovely, modest, single-level Spanish, Spanish style home. We haven't been in here for a while, and I we haven't been on this road. We um, fancy place. used to. Uh, come to the hedgerow it seems like every tour there's I a lot agree. going on in here for a while whoa, 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 whoa. oh here's where you go this is it whoa. Oh. let's go all right so here we go Look at the California gold. Drought tolerant, here to stay. I love this old uh, front porch here. 
got a good vibe. Beautiful bedroom, love the single level in here. We got a nice trim detail on the ceiling in the bedroom, a little different than the crown Stepping molding in the inside. living room. And really some nice big baseboards. Open. Looks like a living room, big classic double design. closet door. All right, shallow closet, but big door. natural light. You got a nice little access really to like the outside the centerpiece, there. centerpiece, Riverstone fireplace. We got ourselves a nice Interesting little nook above the fire area. Simple little bathroom. And as we make our way towards these built-ins in the hallway, love that. All right, here's the other bedroom across that hall. Looks about similar to the one we just saw. Okay. Nice, found the dining room, it's open to the yeah. kitchen. Classic. Bronze fixtures and hardware. Got the wine fridge. Looks like a Viking six burner stove. We're passing through the laundry into the garage. And this has got a uh, gated driveway right out there into the garage, you can see. And I think what we have is a breakfast nook there that I just passed. Okay, this could be our primary. So it's a modest house, but really well done. Great design, totally efficient. See what else there is in here. And then the backyard here, more of this California gold, more fruit trees, fenced area, big oak. There's the back of the garage. Okay, that's it, just simple living here. This is like a, a downsizer for a lot of people, I think. Got a great porch. Okay, everybody. All right, last one, there we go. And scene. That was a really beautiful little house. Yes. I mean, Everything about it was really well done. Very well done on the house. Uh -huh. It is small. Three bedrooms. Only two bathrooms. Um, the primary was modest in size. Yes. Yep. As the whole house. But sometimes those modest sized homes have like still a pretty grand primary. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. And it was interesting, the primary... What, which one would you call the primary? The one over by the kitchen? Oh, okay. Is that wrong? Just be, I guess so. Uh, no, I guess that's right. What, did the other two have the bath in between them? They did, but I was almost thinking that one on the back, back side, on the backyard side, it was sort of the biggest room, I thought. Yeah. And I'd almost be like, shoot, you almost right. tie into the bathroom, but I don't know how you nah, do that. I think it is. That house is the way it's going to be. Yeah, you're right. So. And I think a pool in that backyard would have mm -hmm. been... That, that would have been. Nope. That would have been. Yeah. What's that? What do you think of the California gold granite everywhere? Too much. 
It's a, a lot. Too much. It's a lot. It's it is functional. I like the function, but then I was like, it's absolutely everywhere. Yeah. Outside and they, I think they over. Not you can't walk on that really barefoot very comfortably. No. It's very uncomfortable. Yeah, and then it gets in your shoes, and if you have a and walkway with floors, with, um, you know, you, you carry it over onto the flagstone steps or the flagstone patio. Or the wood floors. Or the wood floors, yeah. yeah. Could be problematic. But it is, oh, the stop sign always gets me. Who put that I, there? I was like, is he gonna just run this? Who right put, how long has it been there? Um, only since the beginning of time. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, have it removed. You've done such a good job today. <laughs> it was bound to happen. Okay. It was bound to happen. I stopped, though, nonetheless. You did. I still it stopped. It was fun. It was fun. Okay. I'm uh, excited to see what this is going to be. I used to bartend right in there when I was in, in college, when it was a case So, but what are they, are they also, what are those back, is that a hotel back there or what is that? Up there, though, that's an apartment building. Oh, behind. Oh, it. those are offices. Oh, okay. And that's not part of it. Nope. Interesting. Um, all right. People, we're coming to the end of the video because yeah. if you over. watched this before with us, um, thank you for coming back. And you know that I'm going to drop him off right here and... Have him jump on out because his office is across the street and we are on Coast Village Road back at our starting park. This is where Joe's Montecito office That's is. That's right. right here, yeah, Berkshire we can meet at Berkshire right there if you want to talk about any of these properties. So it was a great day, I thought. I did Super too. Super fun. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, thanks. Everybody, thank you for watching. Brahmi, thank you for showing up and being awesome. Thanks and for coming along with us. Any final enjoy message to these beautiful people watching this video? Um, hey, rates are down. Maybe you need to refinance if you mm -hmm. buy your house. In the last couple of years, you should reach out to me and uh, just do a little mortgage check-in. Yeah. It's, if you want, I'm here, I'm available. You will find his contact information in the description below. You can reach out to him that way and stay in touch with us as well about everything Santa Barbara real estate wise in that description. Thanks for watching everyone. Joe Parker with the Santa Barbara Group. Barami Kroc with Rate Mortgage. Peace. Look at that, Sunny. Uh,